Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sweet Joy and welcome to this collective video. Alright, God bless you. Alright, I have two uh, <laughs> opposite cards here. We have the sun and the hermit. So, yeah, Virgo and Leo for me, but there may be a sun involved or your inner child, okay? You may be getting the light, the introspection, looking for success and love. And it might be right there, okay? It could be you and your partner, one feeling in the cold and one feeling happy. I don't know exactly. These were the two cards. Let's see. What's going on? What's going on with the sun success? Okay, arrows of love. So there have, will be or have been surprise communication after some being in the cold and introspection. Okay, you or your person. So there goes the surprise. Arrows of love. Okay, so success is here. Nice. That's the golden wisdom you both have. All right. So, I know nine people will be married this year. Okay. Moving forward, there could be travel. Communication, where there were blocks on the ground, there will be communication online, through a phone, text message. Okay, what is this clarity? The surprise message. Let's get a love card. This will be a quick, maybe daily message I'll do until my live stream gets back up. What is the message someone has to tell you? In love. Well, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now's the time to get to yourself. And once you come out of introspection, surprise. There will be arrows of love, okay? So take some time. These are God's wings. That's your part. While you're waiting, the Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in. While you're waiting for these arrows of love, waiting for love, waiting for uh, clarity, success, and healing in your inner child, now's the time to start with introspection, rest, meditation, and prayer. Okay? If you don't get meditation and prayer and focus on yourself, what's the end result if this love comes through? What could happen if you don't focus on yourself to deal with your own emotions? Right. Your issues, it won't end. Right. Yeah. You'll just be stuck. So you got to deal with your own issues so that when love comes in, you can respond accordingly. Okay? So we're going to put the issues behind you. All right? So get warm, watch a good movie, have some cocoa, uh, yeah, popcorn, talk to friends on the phone, read, okay? Listen to your ancestors, angels, and your inner self, and then you'll be clear, vulnerable, and very happy, okay? So after the healing, what's going to happen for you once you heal? Just take one day, an hour, focus on yourself in quiet time. Listening to music, a lot of times with no words are better. What's the secret after you hear? Ready for love? Ready for love. Alright. So then you'll see that page of sword, you are ready for love. Alright. And trauma. So after you heal, you have to see. In the past, there could have been competition and drama fighting, but you had the biggest offer. So what is the truth? What is the truth? Okay? Even if you were dealing with competition, fighting, your mate, arguing, you know, what did, what did you bring to the table? This is you. Okay? Because if you don't see the issue and the golden light, even if you're feeling in the cold, when if you get a surprise message from a person you love or a new love, you won't be able to handle it. It'll be still issues, okay? You still feel hanging. You won't see love. It won't be clear, you see? So take the time, and then you may speak truth, but if you're looking at the past all the time, 
you know, after you heal, you have to see the truth about the matter, okay? What is the truth? What is the truth? What is the truth you need to see after healing? Okay, reflection. This guy, so he has a, you know, the tree's grown so far, and then he has the empty lot, and he's going to reflect. And his strength is in keeping what he has without letting it slip out of his hands. Okay, so you may have new love. Okay, but if you stay in this energy, speaking the truth about what happened, but not looking at the truth, love can come back around. Okay, so that's the truth. Learn and reflect. And your butt needs to heal. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So let's get another card. And just get an angel card. We're going to end this reading. I may do these every day for a couple of days. There is the sun. So reflect on your successes. And live your joy. Thank you angels for supporting me as I follow my joy. Okay joy and light. There's the moon and there's the sun. So dealing with the moon, there are phases in life, right? So now's the time to heal and enjoy yourself while you're reflecting and waiting on this communication or new love. Right? I'm going to get you one more love card. After you heal, what love can you look forward to? Living in joy? Collective. It says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Okay? This could be a new offer. or just about healing. And then you can't force people to do anything. So you instinctively know. There's that intuition. What's right for you. And you have the power to say no. Or walk away at any time. Alright? So you can plant more seeds. But you can't force a past person to be with you. You need to move forward. Or, if they do come back, you can't be in resentment. You need to live your joy and be secure within yourself. That will only come from healing. Okay? Only from using your intuition and clarity after healing. Then your third eye get popping. And you'll know from being alone in that hermit energy. Yeah, what your truth is. Therefore, you can look forward to your stability, security, whatever. In your relationship. Living your joy without being resentful. Or forcing a past person to be with you because I'm feeling some of you, the past person may come back for a new beginning. You just need to heal for the past or the new. Okay? And even if you are in a relationship. So let's get an angel card. And here it is. Live your joy. And that's saying express your creativity. Thank you angels for helping me to express my inner creator. Alright? Using your third eye. This could be going to school, singing, dancing, working out, okay, making an offer to a mate or accepting an offer, all right, getting a new job, balancing your money, your health, your finances, or making, you know, building in this relationship creatively, living joyfully, not looking at the past and being sad, okay, that's very important. I wanted to get one more. And this would be an affirmation card, okay? This is something you may say. In the morning, at night, for love. Okay, so think of more ways to have fun. More ways to enjoy yourself after healing. In love. And that would be through expressing yourself. And through communication. Nice. So love is here. Now will you accept it? You have to have the heart to heart talks, okay? This is the Ten of, which one? Ten of Pentacles. I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. So make sure you are having heart to heart talks with your mate. So you're not wounded, being a wounded warrior. Even if you guys split in some understanding, you basically the base understanding is love, right? So... This is what you're learning to do. Communication and living your joy. Alright. Use your third eye. And always. And feel secure. With this moon. You know. 
Don't be afraid of rejection. If you speak your mind and be creative, don't be afraid of love. Even if a past love or if the person you love, yeah, fell out before or you're waiting on new love, it, it's going to work out. But do what you've done before that worked. Those are the emperor seeds of learning. That's your strength. What are your strengths? So reflect on that while you're healing in that hermit energy and of enlightenment, reflection, schooling, okay? You may want to start going to school. I don't know. But this is a surprise coming as far as communication, and it is from a soulmate, this eight. So have faith. Your growth, that empress energy, using your intuition, will let you, you know, feel secure within yourself and in love, okay? Because love is coming. All right? So before I go, I'm getting one attitude card, and then I'll move on to some signs. And it says, accept people for who they are. I'm one with nature. But this is more of, some people are dull, you know, some people are not loyal. Some people you love, but you just, they're wild. You can't bring a wild animal in the house. It's just some rules to nature. So, if you do need to communicate your nature, accept yourself. Not criticizing them for who they are. And you don't want to be criticized for who you are, but accept each other in the world as they are and we can all get along okay it's been going on for millions of years but communicate just as animals do they all have cries mating noises but they communicate what time it is okay in nature so live your joy and know that who you are naturally feel secure in that god it loves you and embracing you for who you are and if there is a past person who after heart to heart talks doesn't accept you for who you are, you move on. I'm sure you have another offer here as long as you heal and are secure within yourself. All right? So thank you. This is a collective message. I'm the Dr. Sweet Joy. God bless you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.